Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're playing Apex Legends. We're taking a look at each of the character legends that you can choose in the game. If you haven't heard of Apex Legends, it is a battle royale game from the creators of Titanfall 2 Respawn Entertainment. It literally just got launched and um, I'm intrigued, I'm interested in it because it's taken what I wanted in my head, what I've asked for, whenever I heard about high res doing their uh, version of a battle royale game, whenever they announced Realm Royale, where you actually have a character with skills, a unit of skills, and essentially would be a hero shooter, but in a battle royale environment. Kind of like uh, Overwatch, but with Battle Royale rules. And this is about as close as we're probably going to get to it so far. Uh, it's very squad based, so there's a bit of synergies between people. And I want to see how it'll actually it'll all play out. So um, yeah, we're working our way through the characters. And this time we're actually doing Pathfinder. If you haven't seen any of the ones previously, there'll be an annotation at the top of the screen that'll allow you to go through each of the characters as we've gone through so far. We're looking at the character's design, uh, see what we can glean from their history and style of who they are. Uh, we'll take a look at their costumes and all the unlockables that are available. For them. And then finally, we'll take a look at their skills. Pathfinder. Droid. It's a droid. <laughs> Not expecting much, but it looks like they tried to put as much personality into this droid as possible. He's like, thumbs up and looking around, and I'm kind of confused. I don't know why I'm doing it, but hey, they programmed me this way. <laughs> Let's take a look at Pathfinder's list of costumes. Right, hang on a second. <coughs> Sorry, frog in my throat. <clears throat> costumes for Pathfinder. Uh, we have... Let's see. Legendary ones. Angel City Pacer. Angel City Pacer. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at what they've got. Ah! Okay. So, visually, he look. this looks like the most different design type for, like, compared to his default. Like, I mean, from that, it actually it literally is a different frame model. Like, that's, that's base model. Has no extra parts put on it. And then... The legendary one is like, let's armor the fuck out of this. It looks like the, it looks like one of the vehicles out of rigs. That's what it looks like. It actually looks like one of the um, rigs. Like, mo like it looks like one of the mech suits you can ride around in. Okay, I'm on board with this. I like it. Um, bright, shiny Ferrari. It's got uh, branding and names on it. This is the sports model of uh, Pathfinder. So <laughs> you're going to spot this one zipping across the zip line anytime nearby you. Uh, I like the design. I just really hope I see another color. I mean, we're going to see another color with a Quicksilver, but that's that's oh, that's overly garish. But I'm interested and in see what else we have. Yes, that's more like it. Okay, that 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 is Terminator Death in life form. It's literally Death Machine, but it's got a jaunty kind of little bounce to and a thumbs up. Um, it terrifies me more this way. But I'm on board with that. Uh, that'll be my favorite so far. Uh, model prototype. <laughs> so definitely Iron Man Unit 1. I actually like the differing legs. So they don't even match each other. It's the rust heap version of the stripped down kind of like limbs and everything else. Looks a bit more human actually. Um, I like the fact that because it's a squat flat head. It doesn't actually have the protruding beak that the other ones have. Um, yeah, this is the Rust Bucket costume version. This is like this is Bastion. This is actually the uh, the Bastion that was left in the field costume. I, we've all we've seen that one more. It's, it's, I think it was called Overgrown in Overwatch. But yeah, this is the Model P, the Model Prototype. It's P Jack, P Jack Pathfinder, <laughs> and I'm on board with that. I like that design as well. The Aviator, which is the Air Force version of the same thing we just saw. I mean, I like the body shape with the rust. I'm not too sure I like it as much with the um, air, the, the Air Force paint job, but I like I do I like the body design. I like the model design. I just think I prefer Rust Bucket over the um, yeah the the fancier paint job with that same design. But yeah, still, still liking them all. Now this is the one I'm curious about. I essentially see how Pathfinder looks with the um, textured skins, the ones that actually kind of have animation to them. What have we got? Holy shit! I like hack the system on this guy. That's cool. So anywhere, all right. No, so then I can tell where they're going to do with this. So this is all be the bits they'll change color with. They'll change. They'll make that the flat colors, and then all these parts are where the actual animation is going to be on each one of them. So with hack the pond, I am already impressed. I like it. I like the fact it's actually across back of the legs, everything. I'm on board with that design. This character is going to look great with these uh, with these patterns. I'm just looking to see what ones are actually going to be the best. Hack the system looks good. First couple characters, I like to hack the system on them as well. So let's see what else we've got. 
Demon Hunter. Works on him perfectly. So this bit we're here where it goes along the inside of the seams and then across the front of it as well. Um, yeah, the pattern looks great on this character. It feels like they, this feels like the kind of thing that they designed the pattern for this guy because of all the the actual ridges and stuff that he has that it can go into, and then the boxes that are patterns that are over the top of it. Yeah, they're on board with this. All of them look awesome. Even the top of his head actually has that as well across the back too. Yeah, love it. Looks great. Fantastic choices on this character. User friendly. <laughs> yeah, this one's actually bright and cheery. Um, I like the pattern. Every, like all these are going to look good no matter what. I think all these are going to look fantastic on him. User friendly. I'm liking. Um, I would be on board with that. Heat sink. Oh, ironically enough, doesn't look as cool. I mean, it's good. I like it. In fact, I really like it on the back more than I actually like it on the front. But um. Yeah, he's, uh, the, I, I, this is one I've actually liked the least on most of the characters, except for um, on the on medic, on our combat medic. Lifeline. For some reason, I could not remember her name. Um, yeah, still heat sink, not brilliant. Still looks good, but not as good as the ones I've seen. And uh, neural net. Yeah. So I thought this was going to be exactly what I thought it was going to be. It looks good. Uh, the pattern... Looks, works well. The way it actually compresses in whenever it gets to the chest looks cool. Like, I think they've actually just changed the direction a wee bit. Back looks fantastic. Yeah. Neural Net looks good. Uh, all, I, I, I almost knew this was going to be the case. He's got all that surface area to work with, but uh, it looks fantastic on him. Uh, any one of those would do me grand. So, let's get into our own commons, like the flat color texture surfaces. Circuit Breaker looks cool. Um, it's a bit much, to be honest. It almost like takes it takes a lot of detail out of him by putting those detail like that color line detail in, but um, I'm on board with it. Perfectly fine with it. Uh, <laughs> what did that warfare? This is a very jaunty like soldier. Um, yeah, like this is guy. This is like a this is essentially a ghillie suit for the robot, and it works reasonably well. The uh, actual warfare paint looks good on him. Tie dye. Um, garage as hell, and I will definitely wear it if I unlock it. But I really, really don't care for it. <laughs> this is the fact, I like the fact that they actually painted it like an orange for the actual rope that goes through them. But um, yeah, that, that is awful. But it, awful in that really good way, you know? Tropic as well, same as the other one. Uh, I think any of these camo ones are going to look reasonably well on them because he just has he has a full wraparound body for it. It actually just paints over everything. Head trip. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's got purple. <laughs> it's 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 got purple. It's got pinks. It's got the reds. Um, I like it. I like that. I like the I like the pattern on it. Um, I'd, I'd I'd wear that one. <laughs> I'm me laddie. I'm the robot that you never met. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And any of these, a lot of these are going to look great because they just wrap around on them. Tartan, just all the tartan. Garish, awful, gaudy. I love it. <laughs> Desert scorpion. Now this one actually looks terrifying. It's it's terrifying and super effective, and I'm pretty sure I saw this paint job on the robots from Robocop, the remake from 2016. This scares me a little bit. Because <laughs> this is exactly what paint job you would probably end up seeing on one of these robots if they were existed in real life. <coughs> No Johnny Five friendliness with this. Um, that is that is a combat machine. Um, looks good. Uh, again, but one of those ones I would never choose to unlock. But if I unlocked it, I would wear it for purposes of battle. Uh, Bloodline. I was kind of I was hoping it would. Yeah, it does. It does. I was kind of hoping that they might have actually toned it down a little bit, just for the fact of the if they'd done a little less with this. Instead of like making it as stripey as it was, it does feel it's very stripey. I mean, the spatters here look awesome. But not so much up here where it looks like it's it actually is patterned. But um, that could look like a robot just brought, covered in viscera. Like that's what it could look like. But instead, it actually looks a bit uh, ravey. But uh, I'm not, I don't I don't dislike it. It's okay. Again, a lot of these wraparound ones are going to look fantastic on him just because they cover most of his body. No. <laughs> just no. Like there there was there's ones there like tartan fleece that are garish and tie dye that are garish and I love them. This one, fucking no, <laughs> just just no. Unicorns everywhere. Um, you're, I'm looking forward to being murdered by a guy wearing this costume, but I will never wear it myself. That's, that's about it. Fuck no. 
portal coil. Um, but it, it's a very, very overly detailed pattern, but it feels like somebody's trying to do but like a fur lease all over the body of a robot. Um, yeah, I don't know what the pattern's meant to be. But I'm looking and I can see faces in there and it, it disturbs me. But uh, yeah, bright, patterned, interesting. Um, it, lo it looks cool on him, but not not my interest. See, this one actually, because maybe because they actually did go overboard with this one on the red, I like it more than the um, Bloodline. But uh, yeah, big bright Cyrax looking robot. <laughs> That's what, that's what it reminds me of. It's a Cyrax. It's, that's all it is. Like, if this character shows up in MK11 as the new robots on it, because they've got like a whole new artistic design choice on it, that would fucking terrify me. Like, seeing that jumping around the room, beating your ass. Oh my god, put yellow one of these because it has the grappling hook. Scorpion. That's that's what that one is. That's the reason why I don't like it. It's fucking Scorpion. <laughs> Scorpion bot. What did they do to the Shiri Ryu? Um, yeah, Cyrax. Or, no, that's that's be Sector, wouldn't it be? Uh, but yeah, Cyrax, not too bad. Go for it. Cam seat. Yeah. Cam digital seas. Uh, again, wraparound looks cool on this character. Any one of these. any Anything that's other than just a flat single color design. Don't look good in this character. And uh, I'm alright with that. Um, but I wouldn't choose that one. No interest. Whoa! That is actually kind of... It hurts me to look at a little bit, like eyes-wise, but I love the pattern on the way it goes across the knuckles, the forearms, the chest, just the, the cross hatching on it. That looks cool. I want to see that in motion, actually. I, I do like this one a lot. I want to see that one running around. Sweet 16. Sweet Jesus, the 90s actually attacked this robot pretty hard. Um, yeah. 90s radical neon colors. Uh, I literally, I think this is actually... Might have been like the 90s rave version of like um, Shockwave or Soundwave. One of the two of them, but quite likely, most likely Soundwave. Like this this thing turned into like a very early days CD rock Walkman that was covered in stickers. And then the stickers just appeared actually have covered its entire body. Um, but yeah, garish, awful. I like it, <laughs> but, uh, but one I would normally not massively choose. But if it was in my possession, I may. Crash test dummy. Hell yes. I like that. Uh, I actually like the... Crash test symbols all over the body of it. Um, crash test dummies. Love the design. Love the idea of it. Uh, yes. Like this, this is actually like you know. What I, do you know what I actually would have preferred? See the design for the aviator. If they had actually put this color pattern on the aviator body, that would have been cooler. So you have the model P, which is the prototype that's rusted up, and then a crash test dummy version of the model P, more than the aviator. I don't like the aviator design that much. Maybe the aviator design on this body. And this skin on the uh, the Model P Aviator body. That, that would be an interesting composition. I would like that more than I actually... I like this as well. But I actually think this should be on the, the that other body. The prototype body. It makes more sense with the Crash Test Dummy. Right. On to our flat skin ones. Midnight looks terrifying. <laughs> terrifying black and greys. Cardinal. Cool. Simple design. Like it. Uh, bright, shiny. All of these are going to look reasonably well. Just because you actually have good solid areas of color on them. Uh, Arctic, again the same. All of these are going to look very, very similar, but... Uh, Mandarin, don't like the colors. Orchid. 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 <laughs> Orchid actually looks good because of purple. Always purple. Uh, flamingo, no. Well, actually, even Flamingo actually looks pretty good. Be on board with that. Uh, clear water for the light blues. No. Oh. You know, it looks good as well. Actually, I like that. I like that darker red. And you can see the see on the legs, it actually works a bit better. You don't lose as much detailing with it. I like that one. I actually like that one more even than the vivid red from the um, Cardinal. I do like that a lot more. Even colors I don't like on other characters look good in this guy. Evergreen as well. Solid. Limelight. Again, like Cardinal. A bit too much. Evergreen looks better. Darker one. Uh, Yellow Jacket. That's actually, in fact, you could have, you, if, if they'd even just done this, as if they'd called this one like a, a moderate skin, maybe put a couple of the patches on for the target crash test dummy, I would have liked this as the uncommon crash test dummy. Even that, that looks good. I like it. Love the, like, I like the simple yellow and black. Works really well for it. By word, yes. Hydro, age, 
Yeah, I still prefer the, um, the darker red. That one also works. I mean, Sahara and Yellow Jacket are very similar to each other, but I like Yellow Jacket works more Crash Test Dominy than the Sahara one. Right, into the banners. I've actually, I'm, like, I've talked non-stop about this character's costume. I spent so much time on it. <laughs> I think it's one of those things where I actually enjoyed that way too much. All of them look fantastic. I had something to say about nearly all of them. All right, so let's try and get through these a little bit faster. I'll try and pump through them. I don't want to get the let these videos get overly long. Whenever I'm trying to just, I'm just describing my opinions on characters' costumes. Anchors away. Nice. Actually, I like that. That's a really cool. I'll be on board with that for any one of my characters. So Anchors away looks pretty cool. Uh, one of the most useful skills is grappling hook. I love the traversal this character has. It reminds me a lot of the actual main soldiers you had in Titanfall Two. This one feels like the closest to an actual Titanfall character. <laughs> cans of oil everywhere nice um i mean he's a bit of a heavy drinker then is he disco funk robot okay so they're definitely playing up the goofiness of the character um i'll, I'll i'm on board with that i, I don't know why but I, it's, i'm definitely on board uh, pixels i like oh, love the coloring on this one and like whatever skin you put on this character, I love this actual purple kind of oversheet on it. Um, I'd be on board with this one definitely as well. So Disco Tech, Anchors Away, Texel, Texels, all on board with. All the legendary ones look pretty cool. Um, aliens. Unless they release an alien skin for him, this one sucks. <laughs> or the, or if his backstory is that he was kidnapped by aliens or that he is alien tech. Circle of Life, Motherboard. All relevant, uh, Gyroscope. I was, I was expecting like fractals and kind of like very uh, standard sharp designs from him for like um, for background artwork and it looks like exactly what they want to go with. Other this on um, Universal, all pretty cool. Uh, poses. I mean, actually, like, even the simple ones, I actually like some of these just for like the color patterns. Up, that's like nice and vivid coloring on the or, like, even the light, the backlighting that they have for the pose. Great for the birds. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting attacked by Bloodhound's Raven. <laughs> I love that. And even his like neck looks like he's a screaming mouth right there. All right, I'm on board with that. Oh, oh, oh. hey! <coughs> I feel so much better now. All right, so like the the pose look great. He it's just he feels a bit goofy. <laughs> okay, but even like they, uh, I can actually hear the goofy like yahoo! Are they actually swung in there? Spider-Bot. Hi, I love you. <laughs> it's just weird that essentially he acts like uh, the puppy the Doc is meant to be. <laughs> this, is, this is one of the things where like looking away, I'm just gonna punch this thing to death. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, hi. All right, I'm on board with this. I, like all those are awesome. Every single one of those are grit. Uh, a lot of personality in the actual like strike poses like yeah ko born to that all of these are all these are going to be just glorious <laughs> this <is> fucking hell <laughs> come at me bitch think you hold a knife is he as well oh no it's just fists <laughs> all right all the love in the world pro machine how do you feel on mondays pumping iron <laughs> Ooh. That's actually, that's probably the most threatening one he has so in the whole lot. And beyond. <laughs> Infinity! And beyond! That's, it does like a very good Spider-Man pose going on with that as well. I like it, yeah. I, I'm, I'm liking the character a lot. All of his costumes are fantastic. This, this feels like a good solid unlock character. Like a Pathfinder and the girl feel like they've got all the ones I want on them as it is. Um, anything you unlock for these characters, you're just going to be happy with. So let's get into the voice lines because I've, I've gone long in this, so I'm going to have to go through these as fast as I humanly can, but we'll, we'll stop and chat about the good ones. I wish all of you could fight tomorrow too, but you'll be dead. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I might be taking too much time on these because I, I do, I'm going to laugh at each one of them. But yeah, I'm, I'm, like, thumbs up for you, man. Get ready. I'm coming for you, friend. Classy. Losing isn't fun. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> I don't have the choice. I must win. Or I will be de- Or what was it? Was it um, disassemble. Why are you disassemble? 
Remember me, friends. I may kill you. <laughs> Hi, friends. I may murder you. In case you didn't know, you get here by winning. Good luck. <laughs> hey, that's me. Hi, friends. I am really good at this. You should. I may be. I am really good at this. You should be too. It's just the upbeat attitude of the character I'm absolutely adoring. I, they all this, every single one of them is like a pre programmed line and they're like, I'm an upbeat murdering machine! I may be smiling, but that also means I'm happy. I swung to this position. Funny and true. <laughs> God almighty. I'll high five you all when I see you. I'm excited to fight you. It's fun to zipline. You should try it. Yes, yes, I do. And it is super fun to do. My squad must be very proud. Oh, am I supposed to talk? This sounds like it'll be fun. This will be fun. Can't Watch out. This will be fun. Can't wait to win. Watch out or I'll grapple you. Literally. Oh, his grapple also works as a... Um... What do you call him? Um, it's a warthog. A warthog, is it? But it's, it's it's a it is a, it is a scorpion spear pull over here as well. I thought it was only for traversal. You can actually use this for combat. Oh, dude, this guy changes so many things. After this, we should hang out. So we're gonna grapple so many guys and just unload pistols into their faces. Oh, I'm excited about this now. You just get into close quarters combat and going, "Fuck you, you're mine." After this, we should hang but you'll out. You'll be dead. Wow, they chose me. The odds are full of all kinds of math. <laughs> Damn that math. Also, aware for the, they chose me. Fourth wall breaking. The character's aware. Like, oh yeah, there's somebody out there choosing us. I did really good today. I can't wait to tell my creator when I find him. Well, if I do, he'll probably already be dead. I killed him. I won. Congratulations to me. You self contradictory bastard. I'm sorry, but you could have killed my friends. Did you have as much fun as me? Hello? <laughs> Did you like my moves? My grapple is very useful. Yes, it is. Don't beat yourself up. Leave that to me. That w Don't blame. Don't beat yourself up. Leave that to me. That was a joke. <laughs> Funny joke! Don't blame yourself, blame me. Good work. Let's remain friends. Grappling makes things much easier. Try it sometime. Great moves, friend. Sorry you lost. Looks like I beat you. High five! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. So all of us all of us quips are gold every single last one of those are absolute goddamn gold and you're going to be hearing that if this game takes off you're going to be hearing those quoted back at people because it's just a bunch of internet memes repeated loving it oh what is the finishers oh shit son of a bitch <laughs> he does the robot grapples into your face and then knocks you the fuck out get over here <laughs> now, if, if Mortal Kombat 11 doesn't add that as actual, like, a fatality, I'd be disappointed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Tear out the person's throat and then try and get an awkward high five! <laughs> <laughs> I love that way too much. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that is it. The high five is the one. It just looks so... It's just the disappointment on the face as well on his chest. Angry, happy, sad. No, happy, no, sad. <laughs> Joel, you can... Okay. <laughs> hey, do you ever play Street Fighter? That's actually like literally that's what if you ever seen um what do you call it? Uh there was actually a comic book where Deadpool was trying to get killed by Wolverine, and literally he actually walks up to Jubilee and says, Hey, 
You ever played Street Fighter? And she's like, what? Yeah, of course. Joe, you can! And she just like launches her out of the room. And like almost like, it almost like angle-wise it matches exactly <laughs> what, what happened in the comic book. I love it. Iron Haymaker is brilliant. Yeah, everything about this character is absolute fucking gold. I love it. Uh, Pathfinder is cool. Ford Scout. Let's take a look at his skills. I've been chatting about it the entire time. Insider Knowledge. Scan, and sur scan a survey beacon to reveal the ring's next location. The survey beacons, you can hack them. Uh, it gives you an idea of when the, the circle closes, where it's going to close to. You can always get to the location a little bit faster. Great idea. Fantastic tool for the characters. Great for your squad. Tactical grappling hook. Uh, grapple the out of reach places quickly. Also can pull people towards you now, apparently, and tear out throats. And then zipline gun. Uh, essentially allows you to create a zipline that will exist uh, permanently for your rest of your team to just get to location. So... A top row squad, essentially, you've got, if you grab this guy to actually prepare yourself for getting to places quickly, and then you actually have the um, big armored guy for actual shielding, and then the medic keep you alive. I, I couldn't see why you couldn't just murder absolutely everything in the game with this. I love this character. I love Pathfinder. Completely on board with it. Looking forward to playing more as this character because I'm loving the charm of the character. It, it's, Bastion was silent, and... Uh, emotional and uh, environmentally interested. This is a killing machine that has literally been programmed with a sense of humor and it doesn't know that it's being terrifying even though it actually is saying, that's a joke. I'm telling you a funny thing. Hey friend, <laughs> let's murder you. Um, it feels like they literally took Bastion and split it into two characters with Bloodhound and Pathfinder. And I love it. I love Pathfinder. Uh, unintentionally hilarious. And I love the design of the character and all the costumes look fantastic. Uh, if you want to see more of Apex uh, Legends here on the channel, make sure to comment underneath the videos, talk about the character designs, talk about the interesting, unique little things I might not have noticed. And if any of those lines are a reference to something else, please do tell me in the comments. I'm looking forward to playing more of this. I hope to see you all online. Feel free to join me in the servers on the PlayStation or on the PC. And um, like, comment, and subscribe, all the usual things. Thank you very much for watching. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a couple of boxes appearing in different places. Go and you other videos here on the channel and other things you can actually check out. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video in this series. Bye.